Something doesn't have to be big to be dangerous, as proven by this centipede that can kill other creatures 30 times larger than it is, and the spider often regarded as the world's most dangerous. First though, let's find out why this caterpillar is called an assassin. The Assassin Caterpillar If a bug has the word assassin in its name, you can bet it's dangerous, perhaps even deadly. And deadly is definitely the word that best describes the Assassin Caterpillar. It's considered the deadliest caterpillar in the world. In fact, it's killed humans in the past. Found in the rainforest of South America, these tiny two-inch long bugs pack a deadly venom stored in their spines. Get enough of this venom into your system, you're gonna have massive internal bleeding, which in turn will make your brain and other vital organs start to shut down. Thankfully though, it would take around 20 to 100 sings in order for enough venom to enter your body to kill ya. Still, it's probably best to make sure you stay way clear of these little guys. Kissing Bugs Kissing bugs survive by sucking the blood of vertebrates, and they get their name after their habit of biting the lips of humans while they sleep. After feeding, these bugs secrete a fluid that, when ingested through the victim's mouths, eyes, or any cut on the skin, can cause a lifetime of problems. They are the only known carriers of a microscopic parasite called a Trypansoma cruzi, which causes the deadly Chagas disease, a deadly disease that causes 10,000 deaths every single year. Chagas disease is an infection that spreads throughout the body, causing a number of complications. This disease takes up to 20 years to kill a person, and dying from the disease is extremely painful. Although the symptoms can be treated, there is no known effective cure for this deadly disease as of this moment. The Black Widow Spider They may not be the world's deadliest spiders, but black widows are still as dangerous as they come. They are, however, the deadliest spiders in North America. And despite their relatively small size, they pack venom that's 15 times stronger than that of rattlesnakes. This venom contains a toxin that overwhelms nerve endings, resulting in immense pain. It also causes swelling around the wounds, severe cramping, sweating, and chills. Of course, if left untreated, a bite from a black widow can prove fatal, most especially to younger children and the elderly. The Zitzi Fly They may be small, but the death and suffering that the Zitzi Fly can bring is no small matter. This tiny insect arbor is a parasite that causes sleeping sickness, a disease that can be fatal if left untreated. The symptoms include fevers, headaches, and joint pains. In advanced cases, a victim can suffer from confusion, poor coordination, numbness, and trouble sleeping, hence its name. Considered the deadliest biting insect native to Africa, it's estimated that about half a million people have already lost their lives due to the disease that this insect brings. On the upside, it seems that African authorities have the disease pretty much under control, only recording about 977 cases back in 2018. The Chilean Recluse Spider Closely related to the brown recluse spider, the Chilean recluse is a spider considered by many to be the most dangerous of the recluse spiders, and its bite is known to frequently result in severe systemic reactions, including death. As suggested by its name, this spider is not aggressive, and usually bites only when pressed against human skin. This includes when putting on an article of clothing or something like that, which recluses like to be around. Like all recluse spiders, the venom of the Chilean recluse contains the dermonecrotic agent, this simply means that the spider's venom can destroy flesh and muscle tissue. Advanced necrosis can often lead to renal failure, and a study conducted in Chile showed that 4% of Chilean recluse bite victims actually die. Killer Bees Also called Africanized honeybees, killer bees were first in the U.S. in 1985 in an oil field in California. Today, though, colonies of these killers can be found in Cali, Southern Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Western Louisiana, Southern Arkansas, and Central and Southern Florida. While their venom is no more as potent as that of regular bees, killer bees are distinguished for being hyper-aggressive. In fact, they've been known to chase people for more than a quarter of a mile if their hive gets disturbed. These bees also attack in droves, so their venom may lack quality, but they more than make up for it with sheer quantity. The Pus Caterpillar The Pus Caterpillar is the larval stage of the southern flannel moth, and to tell you frankly, they look like creepy, tiny, crawling wigs. While the moths themselves aren't dangerous, this fuzzy lump of hair definitely is. In fact, Pus Caterpillars are considered the most poisonous caterpillar in North America. They're considered as such because of their venomous spines. Exposure to the caterpillar's fur-like spines leads to an immediate skin irritation, which is so painful that victims have described it as similar to a broken bone, or even blunt force trauma. 
Because of their fuzzy appearance, children are unfortunately more prone to be stung by these caterpillars, which is a shame because aside from the pain, victims also experience swelling, nausea, headache, abdominal distress, rashes, blisters, and sometimes chest pain, numbness, or difficulty breathing. The Botfly These guys literally eat you up from the inside. Not the adults, though. It's the larvae that you need to watch out for. Botfly larvae are parasites. In other words, they survive on other creatures, feasting on their flesh, and it develops while living just beneath the host's skin. If left untreated, the larvae will stay under the host's skin for 60 days, all the while the host feels every single movement the larvae makes. Botflies can be found across Central and South America, so the chances of getting infected by these parasites are quite high. It's very important to consult a doctor if you find yourself infected, because if left untreated, this tiny larva can deal permanent damage to your skin. The Northern Funnel Web Spider The Northern Funnel Web Spider of Australia is the largest of all funnel webs, reaching sizes over 3 inches long and is most easily distinguished by its habit of dwelling in trees. It carries an immensely toxic venom that can kill a full-grown man in minutes if anti-venom isn't immediately administered. They carry the toxin called atracotoxins, and exposure to this toxin might result into goosebumps, sweating, tingling around the mouth and tongue, twitching, salivation, watery eyes, elevated heart rate, and elevated blood pressure. The final stages of severe envenomation include dilation of the pupils, uncontrolled muscle twitching, unconsciousness, elevated intracranial pressure, and death. This makes the funnel web spider one of the most poisonous spiders in the world. The Deer Tick Ticks are a common parasite that infests many different types of animals and are so common that they can be found all over the world. A bad thing, really, because some of them can be very deadly. The deer tick particularly stands out in this regard, though. Deer ticks carry the dreaded Borrelia burgdorferi bacteria, the organism responsible for Lyme disease. The tick transmits the bacteria to humans by feeding, something that usually goes unnoticed because these buggers are extremely small. Although rarely fatal, Lyme disease is no joke, causing symptoms like fever, headache, fatigue, and a characteristic skin rash called erythema migrans. If left untreated, infection can spread to joints, the heart, and the nervous system. The Fire Ant A bite from a single fire ant is bad enough, but these guys rarely bite alone. Fire ants usually attack in groups that may consist of hundreds of individuals, overwhelming anyone they choose to attack with numbers and toxic stings. The fire ant sting is quite painful, and the white pustules caused by fire ant stings can last for weeks. Their venom also would cause severe skin problems, with just some of the effects including bumps, rashes, chest pain, loss of breath, and nausea. Fire ant venom, although not deadly by itself, can cause severe allergic reactions to those susceptible to them. They consist of a very harmful toxin called solenopsin, which can cause adverse effects on humans if injected in large amounts. The Spitting thick tail Black Scorpion it's often said about scorpions that small pincers and a thick, powerful tail indicate a more potent sting. This certainly holds true for the spitting thick tail, which is regarded as the most dangerous scorpion in Southern Africa. With a lethal dose of 4.25 milligrams, the venom itself is around the same potency as cyanide. The scorpion's size and ability to deliver a large dose contribute to the thick tail's reputation. Generally speaking, a healthy adult would be very unlucky to die from the sting of this scorpion as the death rate is less than a single percent. The experience is not pleasant, though, with stings causing intense pain, sweating, drooling, muscular convulsions, and heart palpitations that can occur in a third of cases. And another thing, spitting thick tail can spit its venom up to three feet, causing temporary blindness and possible permanent damage to the target's eyes. Now it's time for the day's best pick. As we've established today, bugs can be dangerous, especially this one that can easily prey on a mouse. The centipede. Centipede venom packs a serious punch, causing rapid paralysis in lizards, cockroaches, and other animals unlucky enough to be on the invertebrates dinner menu. They've even been known to kill people. In fact, scientists have identified a nasty toxin in centipede venom that wreaks havoc on the cardiovascular, respiratory, and nervous systems of other animals, allowing centipedes to kill mice 15 times their size in 30 seconds flat. This toxin was first found in the venom of the 20 centimeter long golden head centipede. This centipede lives in forests, farmlands, and cities across Eastern Asia. This component of the venom shuts off the channels that pump potassium in and out of cells. Channels that are critical for sending brain waves, maintaining a regular heartbeat, and controlling a whole host of other bodily functions. In other words, too much of this toxin is going to kill anyone, without exception. 
the bullet ant. Officially the world's largest ant, bullet ants also have the reputation of being very dangerous. With the size of the bullet ant, its bite also feels like getting hit by a bullet too, according to those people who have been bit by one. The extreme pain also lasts for 24 hours, giving the ant its nickname, the 24-hour ant. Five victims have reported that after being bitten, they feel a pain so intense that it feels like they've been shot. To further put it in perspective, the sting of a bullet ant is 30 times more painful than that of a wasp or a honeybee. These nasty bugs can be found in rainforests of Nicaragua and Paraguay. The Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider possesses the most neurologically active venom of all spiders and is regarded as the most dangerous spider in the world. Brazilian Wandering Spiders are active hunters and travel a lot, hence their name. This habit, unfortunately, often brings them in close contact with people. Even adult humans risk death if this spider bites them, especially when anti-venom isn't immediately administered. But despite its availability, some people are just unlucky and die even after being treated with anti-venom. Unfortunately, most of the victims are children and the elderly, or people with weaker or compromised immune systems. What's really scary is how fast this venom works, with victims dying within mere minutes of a bite. See you all next time!